Now the three biggest issues I have with this new Amazon interface is number one, just the size of those large adverts at the top of the screen. And number two, the fact that I can only put six of my favorite applications in this shortcut bar, even though I use a lot more third party applications. And lastly, just the sheer amount of sponsored content, sponsored applications completely taking over my home screen. Now, do leave me a comment below if you agree with my points or if you actually like this new launcher. So what can we do? Well, on my device, my 4K Fire Stick, my second generation Fire TV Cube, any of these devices running Fire OS 6 or 7, when I now press the home key, we can see I'm actually using a custom launcher and we can see in the custom launcher, no sponsored content, no large screen adverts, no sponsored applications, and I can get the launcher looking exactly how I like it. So we have some custom sections, custom background, and I'm only seeing the applications that I'm regularly using. Now, since lots of you have been getting the new update on your second generation Fire TV Cube or any of your Amazon devices, I've just seen so many comments, so many posts on Reddit from people asking, is there an alternative to the standard Amazon home screen? So. I thought I'd do this quick video today showing you the latest version of the Launcher Manager and demonstrate the easiest way you can change the launcher on your Amazon device. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're started. new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process on your Amazon device, just head over to your settings, go over to My Fire TV, and inside developer options, make sure you have both these options set to on. Once you've done that, we can now open up the application downloader. Inside downloader, type in the short code 53402, and this basically translates to techdoctoruk.com. Click on that and click on go. Now when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, and click on that, and then click on tutorials. So I'm trying to keep all of the launcher manager stuff onto a single tutorial page, but I've actually moved that to the top of the list. So when you scroll down, we can see it's now the first one in the list. So let's open that up. And just to confirm, this is for Fire OS 6 and higher devices. Um, so if you have an Amazon second generation Fire TV stick running Fire OS 5, then unfortunately this process is not for you. Let's scroll down. And underneath all of that, we now have the various uh, links to the software. So the first thing you need, if you don't have anything on your device, if you've never installed a custom launcher, is the launcher manager. Now here we can see for the Amazon Fire TV devices, we have the original one, which is this one here, but the one I'm gonna be demonstrating in this video is the updated one. So I actually recommend you go for this one, which has the April 2021 update. So that's the first thing you want to install. Once you've installed that, you can then scroll down and install the Wolf Launcher for your respective device. Now, if you already have the Wolf Launcher 0.1.7 on your device, then you don't need to update that again because that's actually the latest version of the Wolf Launcher. If you have an older version, then also install this one here. Now, the way we can install that, so if I go back up, so let's get the latest version of the Launcher Manager. Let's click on that, and that is version 1.0.7. Scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will download the Launcher Manager directly onto your device. Once you have that, we can now click on Install. Give that a second, that's now all done. I can now press back on the remote. And if needed, I can also install the Wolf Launcher. So once you have both applications on your device, you then want to press the Home key. And if any of you guys are still with me then, if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Amazon then, I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Let's go to all our applications. And we can see here is the new launcher manager and here is the latest version of Wolf. So what we want to do is open up the launcher manager. 
And we can see this is now being completely redesigned. Sween Wolf has done a fantastic job. He's fixed a lot of the bugs that people reported with the previous version and really just given this a much nicer, more slicker interface. Now, uh, here we can see the shortcuts to the different settings. But for us to actually change the default launcher, all we need to do is click at the top here and where it says uh, enable custom launcher. Let's click on that. Now this in the background is running some ADB commands and if you get any kind of errors that ADB is not accessible, all you need to do is go to your ADB settings, which you can go from here. Turn off ADB for a couple of seconds, turn that back on, press back on the remote, and you should now be able to click up here and once again select enable custom launcher. And you only need to do that if you get any kind of errors. And we can see on my device, I didn't get any errors. Now straight away on the left, we can see that it's saying my current launcher is now the Wolf launcher. So now when I press the home key, that should take us straight into the Wolf launcher. So what that means now is every time your device starts, or if you open up any application uh, like Downloader, as soon as you press the home key, it doesn't take you back to the Amazon uh, launcher with all of those adverts, all of those sponsored content and everything else. We are now inside our custom launcher. Now, the first time you open this, it's not going to look like this because you're not going to have any custom sections. You're not going to have any custom wallpaper, but the application is very easy to customize. Now, I've already covered this a couple of times in other videos, so I will leave that in the video description and also the pinned comment on how you can fully customize the Wolf Launcher. But one quick thing I want to show you, which is how to access those common settings. So let's say, for example, I want to uh, tweak my uh, display settings. I can now just press the context key, which is one with the three lines, and click on Android settings. And this will now automatically spawn the Launcher Manager where I can now go down in the list and then just find whichever settings I want to change. So uh, if I want to change my remote settings, I can click on that. And this then takes me directly to those settings. If I press back on the remote, if I want to go to the MyFi TV section, I can click on that. And that also takes me directly there. So it just makes the process so much easier where you can directly access these Amazon settings directly through the Launcher Manager. Let's now press the Home key again. Now, a quick thing regarding wallpapers, because that's probably the most common question I get is, what's the easiest way to change the wallpaper on your new custom launcher? Well, if you just press the context key on the remote, launcher settings, go to wallpaper. So make sure the first option is enabled. Now, before you click on select wallpaper, because that's going to go to your internal storage, we need to actually download some wallpapers onto our device. Now, the easiest way to do that is just open up a downloader and then just search for Turn on TB wallpapers, click on go. Now this will just do a quick Google search for you and show you the websites or web pages that have some great wallpapers that you can use. Now a great website is uh, unsplash.com. Let's try that one. And you can just see guys, we just now have access to pages and pages of really nice wallpapers. Let's go for this C, uh, scene over here and just click on download. Give that a second and we can see that that's now downloaded into the downloader folder. So I can now click on done, press the home key, press the context key, go to launcher settings, go to wallpaper. Let's now go to select wallpaper, click on internal storage. Let's now find the downloader folder, which is this one here. And we can now see all of the papers I've, uh, wallpapers I've previously downloaded. And the one we just downloaded now was this one here. Click on that, give it a few seconds, and we can now enjoy that really nice looking wallpaper. Now, if for whatever reason you want to go back to the stock launcher, let's say for example, you want to install something from the official Amazon App Store. Well, the only way to do that is to go back to the stock launcher. So we can go back to the launcher manager, go to the top, click up here, click on disable custom launcher, give that a second, now on the left where it says a launcher, it should now say the stock launcher. Once it says that, I can now press the home key and this will now take us back to the heavily bloated, heavily ad filled Amazon stock launcher. But it does mean like if I now want to search for something which are on the official Amazon app store. So that's the only way you can get back to the official Amazon app store 
is to disable that stock launcher so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching lots and lots of people are asking on the easiest way we can now go back to a custom launcher because they really are fed up with this new launcher from amazon so do leave me a comment below let me know what you think about the new launcher do you like it do you think it's too many adverts too much stuff being forced down your throat or do you think it actually looks okay so do leave me a comment below and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks